Today, we've got some little lights that can go anywhere in both bicolor and RGB versions, the Q6 from Spiffy Gear. So, let's get into it. Hey, I'm Scott and welcome to my channel. And if you're new here, please do consider subscribing for more no-nonsense tutorials and reviews. So there are tons of photos on Spiffy Gear's website that really show off the maximum potential of what you can do with these creatively. I highly recommend you check that out. But for me, they're actually going to be more about convenience. You know, slap a fill light here during a video call, throw them on my wrists or even my ankles to bring with me at a wedding party, even without pockets, or any photo shoot, really. So they're always there when I need an accent or a fill light for ring shots, photos of food, or just to add a splash of something extra to just about anything, just about anywhere. I could even then let the bride and the groom, or of course the portrait client, have some fun with the colored versions and long exposure type portraits after the main event. And I doubt that they would forget how unique that experience was. And that is a small thing that could go a long way in a word of mouth type of market where I'm located really makes me wish that we could just get through this pandemic so that way I could have more shoots like that again, which just hasn't been happening lately. And that's why I don't really have any behind the scenes type photos for you today. I'm sorry. I actually have though, even used these as a kind of reading light, either magnetically snapped on somewhere nearby, shoved in between the couch cushions or just wrapped around my wrist even my neck for a better lighting position, no matter how weird that sounds. And I could even use a nice warm light with the bicolor version, which was easier on the eyes. Now that obviously may not be the way that everybody hopes to use these, but there are tons of practical and creative applications for something like this. I've got one bicolor and two RGB here, but I'm probably going to grab one or two more bicolor versions because they're just so useful. Now I'll show a couple of examples from myself, mostly just to show the quality of the light, the light spread, uh, the level of diffusion, and things like that, but really it would be a waste of time for me to sit here in a review and try to show you use it this way and that way because these lights really will do anything that your own creativity can think up and you're probably a lot more creative than I am. Anyway, on to some point by point analysis of these little lights for those of you that are more interested in the details. So there are separate bicolor and RGB versions. They're not the same and they're not combined into one light. So these are a little bit more specialty than those small LED panels. In addition to working like those snap bracelets, these are also magnetic. There are actually three individual magnets on the back and they work pretty well. These are lightweight, of course, so that way uh, there's no problem holding themselves up. Even if you're only using one or two of the magnets, it still seems to be okay in most cases. They actually come with these little magnetic mounting discs. So if you really need to slap this up in a spot where there's no other way that you can mount it, you can use these. These are also splash proof, which of course is good for lighting foods or drinks or other types of special effects photography or something where you might get them wet. Now jumping back to that slap bracelet design, of course you can use that to wrap them around your wrist, around your ankles, around even your neck, like I said, uh, for some creative use or for some practical use even. Uh, but you can also use that for different uses to snap it around uh, the pole of a light stand or a pole outside somewhere or even over the top of a wall, just it curves and it holds itself in place. These are made out of silicone and they feel really nice, but that silicone also gives it a little bit of a grippiness that when you wrap it around a pole or something, it should hold itself in place fairly well. Of course, it's also magnetic, so if it's a metal pole, it doesn't matter, but that texture does also give it a good enough grip. You can use that slap bracelet type design in more ways than just a bracelet. Now you can see there are three control buttons on each of these and of course the way that the bicolor will work is a little bit different from how the RGB versions work but basically uh, they're very basic controls and once you learn how they work it's fairly intuitive. If you don't check the instructions you might be a little bit confused but hey I'll show you right now too. I'm going to read this so that way I don't get it wrong. Uh, with the bicolor version you get uh, from 2700K up to 6000K and you get eight steps along the way. With the RGB version, you're not getting full smooth RGB 360 degree control of the color, but you are getting 15 colors total. 
on the RGB version. The second button here is to cycle between the three main RGB colors, of course, red, green, and blue. And then in each of those three modes, the third button will then cycle between four additional colors that kind of range between uh, each of those main colors. So if you're in red mode, you can push this one, two, three, and four times, and now you're almost at blue. So going with the middle button to the next step, which is blue, one, two, three, four, you're almost at green. And then the next button will push that to green, one, two, three, four. And now you're almost at the full color of red. Honestly, that's enough for me in most cases. And I never really found myself needing full bicolor range uh, in a light like this, or even more than those 15 colors in the RGB version. Plus, I usually don't need both in the same light. I'll be specifically using one or the other in a certain spot and I'd rather get more power out of that one small size light than trying to pack in too much. You can adjust the intensity the same way when you're in special effects mode, but you don't seem to have any control over things like the speed or the interval between the special effects if you're doing uh, fireworks, for example, or police car lights, for example. You can't really customize them any further than just intensity. With the RGB version, you get a breathing effect, you get the police effect, fire, TV, and fireworks. With the bicolor version, you get breathing, candle, explosion, red carpet, and stroboscopic. So the effects are okay, um, useful choices at least, but honestly, it won't be my main use of these lights. So for such little and lightweight, flexible, literally, lights, these really have a lot of great mounting options. Of course, you can use the magnets, you can use that slap-on design, but they also have this little hole up top, and they come with this little elastic. It looks like a hair elastic, but you could use that either to loop through this hole and hang it somewhere, or also to go around in between these little blocks here and um, hang it somewhere that way. So that's one option. Again, you've got these little metal discs if you want to use the magnets somewhere where you don't have a magnetic surface. And then you've got additional accessories for mounting it like this single uh, light bracket here. This will just slide in similar to how I have it now. And this is like a ball head here with of course a quarter 20 screw thread on the bottom and that cold shoe so you can use it on camera or pretty much everywhere else. And then there's this triple bracket which I have here and this has a screw thread on the bottom which I'm using right now as well as one on the side so you can mount this in either direction. You could slide these through here however you need them positioned. I have them at the bottom at the moment but you don't need to do it that way. This bracket itself is also actually magnetic so if you wanted to slap a few of these in here and then slap that onto a metal surface you could do that as well. And while these do all come with their own charging cable they've also got awesome accessories like this three light charging cable which let you use one USB port to charge all three of them like I'm doing right now. So speaking of charging, you get one to eight hours of use depending on which of the five light intensity settings you're using, which is not bad for such a small light that literally can snap onto your wrist. So finally, I'll just put some specs and information and comparisons on screen to something like one of those small pocket LEDs uh, to show you things like the beam spread. This has a 120 degree angle beam spread, uh, the softness, the color accuracy, the brightness, things like that. Uh, I'll just show you a bunch of specs while I'm talking here if you're curious how it compares to something like that. The light that I'm going to compare it to is the ALMC from Aperture, which is actually priced at double what one of these cost, although it is both uh, bicolor and RGB built into one, so there's that. There's also no battery level indicator or display at all on these, of course, so make sure to keep it charged between uses, I guess, in case you're worried about that. I would love something uh, even simple, uh, maybe just some LEDs to indicate battery level on here. But honestly, you can't really expect much for such a small package. And finally, in terms of price, uh, they are $45 each, which like I said, is half of the Aperture ALMC and honestly cheaper than I'd expect them to be based on just seeing how they are made and how they work and what they can do. I think these are an amazing value. And like I said, the ways that you can use them will really depend on your own creativity or what you need them for. And for me, they're just gonna be absolutely convenient little lights to always have with me. And I am planning on picking up a few more of these because they are just that convenient in any situation from daily life to photo shoots to a whole lot in between. So obviously I strongly recommend these. And if you're interested in them, uh, check out the links below for more information and availability. But if you have any other questions or comments, let me know down there and I will do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. Otherwise, if you found this video helpful or interesting or anything at all really, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing if you haven't already, share it, all that good stuff, and I'll see you next time.